Good morning, I am Brian with TransWest Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. Today for our live video, we're gonna be walking you in and around a, a pre-owned 2018 Holiday Rambler Navigator 36U. So, just a couple things to notice right when you're looking at this motorhome. Uh, 17 foot Dometic awning, hangs down there nice and low, gets the sun out of your eyes, okay? Uh, you got full body paint, no stickers, no decals. Paint's gonna hold up a lot longer, stay nicer over time. Um, whole motorhome built on a Freightliner custom chassis. 2018, less than 10,000 miles on this one. Um, the people who traded this in actually upgraded to a Super C. So uh, we'll start right by walking around the outside. First little storage compartment in the front there. In front of the axle, all that is is storage. Right behind the axle here is one of your fuel fills, so there's just a locked door. Make sure you don't get siphoned. Coming back behind the door, you have a 28 gallon propane tank. That's going to be used to fire your stove as well as your heat. Right up above that, Samsung HD TV, two Sony speakers, and a Sony headset uh, for your exterior entertainment down below the awning. Coming back one more bay, you have big pass-through storage. So that runs from the passenger side all the way to the driver's side. Back one more is gonna be the same thing, but up in this right top right corner, you'll see a central vacuum system. We'll show you where to hook that up inside, but this is where you would uh, clean your filters and whatnot. Back one more, another storage bay down below. And then a macerator pump up above. And then as we come all the way back, more little storage compartments here. They're not huge, but they do the trick. Um, you notice it's all nice and lined and painted. So helps keep corrosion down, keeps your stuff nice and clean vent to your Atwood water heater right there. And then coming around the back. Um, like I said, this is built on a Freightliner straight rail chassis, Freightliner custom chassis. It's powered by a 340 horsepower, 6.7 liter Cummins. Two inch receiver here, you got a 10,000 pound towing capacity with a 1,000 pound vertical weight capacity. So your tongue weight can be up to 1,000 pounds. Also, you're pre-wired for a seven pin connector for those trailer brakes, trailer lights, vehicle lights, whatever you're towing. Nice LED lights all the way around or on the rear cap. So tail lights, blinkers, everything. Nice LED lights, a little brighter, a lot cleaner looking. Coming over to the driver's side of the motorhome, your rear compartment is going to be your chassis batteries used for starting that engine. And then just in front of that, you have an automatic transfer switch with the surge guard built into it. Coming forward just a little bit, 50 amp power cord. There is a little indicator light on it as well. So when you plug it in and you have power, you'll have an indication that there is power going to the motorhome. Forward of that one is your diesel exhaust fluid tank. So uh, diesel exhaust fluid, pretty easy stuff. Um, you just put it in there, same, same as fuel. Coming forward, one more is gonna be your water bay. So you have an exterior shower with a sprayer, hot and cold water, hot and cold low point drains, black tank flush, city water valve, whole house water filter, and then also down here, you have your black and gray tank dump valves. And then over on this right side, you have a satellite in as well as a 12 volt. Um, in case the park, the RV park you're in has cable available, you can actually just plug it in right there instead of setting up your own satellite dish. So coming forward, we're just gonna see a couple more of those big pass-through bays, the other side of those big pass-through bays. And then in the very front, just a small compartment, and you can actually see the fresh water tank up in there as well. 
So that valve down below that freshwater tank is gonna be just a, um, the drain for the tank for winterization purposes. On the driver's side, you also have a fuel fill. So dual side fuel fills makes fueling up a lot easier and faster. And then your very front compartment, you have an air receptacle. Since this does have an air compressor for airbags, you have an air receptacle if you want to blow up some Beach Choice, fill up some tires, your washer fluid, and just some electronics. Up in this mirror, and the same on the uh, on the passenger side, you do have a camera. So when you turn on your left blinker or your right blinker, it'll turn on the corresponding camera. Helps you eliminate blind spots. So up in front, underneath this cap, there is a 6,000 watt generator. More than enough power to run everything on this motorhome. Oh, uh, for a pre-owned unit, this thing is in exceptionally good shape. Uh, no real dings or dents on the exterior of it. The paint looks great. Uh, awning fabric looks great. So now we'll go ahead and head inside and uh, look at some of the features of this motorhome in there. Okay, so walking into this uh, Holiday Rambler, very nice floor plan, just a two slide bath and a half. Uh, so we'll just go over a couple things on this driver's side first. In the very front, you're gonna have a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. So that's gonna run off electricity only. Right now we're not plugged in, we don't have the generator running, we're running this off of an inverter with the freezer drawer down below nice baskets, lots of room there. And this one also has the ice maker built into it. Um, before we head back, I just want to point this out. This is the drop down bunk over the cab. So extra sleeping, I mean, there's plenty of room up here for two people. Uh, you just set an air mattress on top of it. And there's outlets on the side to where you can blow that air mattress up. Um, but a lot easier than, um, a lot easier than I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but <laughs> drop down bunk over the cab. It is electric, so over on the passenger side, push a button and then it'll go back up all the way up to the ceiling. You really won't even notice it's there when it's in its up position. And the other thing that's nice about it is your cabinets move with it as well, giving you a little bit of extra width for sleeping area there. I'll go ahead and take this one all the way up, go over just a couple things in the cab and then we'll head towards the back. All right, all the way up. Like I said, you can just barely tell that it's even there. Um, over here in the cab, there's just a couple little things. One, you have two screens here. One is gonna be a dedicated camera screen. So for those blinker cameras, the rear view camera, um, just dedicated to cameras. And then on the right, this is gonna be your radio navigation, things like that. Over on the left side, you have your Allison touchpad for your Allison six-speed transmission, the 2500 series. And now we can move into the back. Sorry for jumping around there. So right as you walk in the door, you have this cabinet on the side. Okay. Uh, so your thermostats right now, we have it set to 72 degrees because it's about 20 degrees outside and it's nice and warm in here. Inverter panel just on off on the inverter. Generator start and stop. Slide outs in and out hot water heater, you have either electric or gas, either one of them. Um, electric will only work if you're plugged in or running that generator. Battery disconnect switch for storage, auto leveling system, power control service panel, and then just a t uh, level monitor. So it will give you the tank levels of your black, gray, fresh, and propane tank. So I already told you that you have a 28 gallon propane capacity. You also have a 77 gallon freshwater capacity, a 60 gallon gray water capacity, and a 32 gallon black water capacity. Right above the door, just a nice little storage area there for the things that you're gonna grab quickly as you walk out. Coming back into the kitchen, nice big cabinets with adjustable shelves so you can move these up and down as needed solid surface countertop, two bowl, 
undermount sink, the residential style sprayer. And then a three burner gas cooktop as well in the kitchen. High point convection microwave. So microwave convection oven combo right there. Up above, not storage, you got your 12 volt circuit breakers as well as the, or the uh, switch to your tank heaters. So your gray and black holding tanks will have little 12 volt heat pads on them just to give you more longevity in winter camping. Keep you from freezing up. Down below, a huge drawer. You can never have too much space for pots and pans. A bank of three smaller drawers. And then cabinets underneath the sink as well. Just a little bit farther back, nice big pantry. So it's kind of nice because they gave you the pull-out drawers on the top and on the bottom you have more adjustable shelving. So you can uh, set it up as you need. Down below that, this is your connection for your central vacuum system. So you can plug a hose into that and uh, vacuum everything inside the motorhome. LG TV in the living room with a Bose soundbar, HD TV. And then down below you have a fireplace that will run off of electricity, meaning you have to be sh plugged into shore power or be running the generator but that does kick off a fair amount of heat so and if you're plugged in to shore power saving a little propane by using the fireplace is always a good idea um, nice little storage up above the TV put some DVDs in there um, or whatever games it's just a nice little smaller storage area coming over to the driver's side So we'll kind of start from the front and work our way back. This is your toolkit to that central vacuum system I was just telling you about. So nice long hose here. So you can reach everywhere in this motorhome. And then up in the front of this compartment, you have some different attachments for it. Just show you one here. So, I mean, there's all sorts of different things you can put on it just to be able to clean your motorhome easily. In this bag, you're gonna have all the manuals to your motorhome. The previous owners did save all that information for you. Coming across the top, just nice big cabinets. The previous owners put the non-slide mats in there. So you can put pots and pans without it rattling around. And then back in the, towards the rear of the motorhome, you have an LG Blu-ray player. That's all gonna be set up to that uh, living room TV that I showed you earlier. If you were going to put a satellite receiver, you would also put it in this compartment. This motorhome is equipped with the booth dinette. So down below the booth, you have an extra cushion here. What that cushion is for is this will drop down and make a bed. That cushion will fill in the bed space just to make it a little bit more comfortable. And then coming back, you do have a nice couch as well with footrests that pop out and this will also make into a bed so coming back this is a bath and a half motorhome so right after your living room you enter the half bathroom area so this will have a toilet a sink a medicine cabinet as well that uh, solid surface countertop with the undermount sink very similar to what you see in the kitchen And this is one of the better half baths I see you in terms of size and accessibility. And in there you also have two 110 outlets if you wanted to run that hair dryer or curling iron or whatever else you might need in the bathroom. And then coming back at that, you enter the master bedroom. So nice queen size bed. Cool thing about this queen size bed is it does have a reclining base. So if you're in here and want to watch some TV, read a book, not be completely laying down, you can raise this thing up. It'll pretty much sit you straight up. 
Couple other things that are cool about this bedroom is they did actually put a switch to start and stop your generator. So if you're out boondocking and want to start it before you go to bed, um, it's actually on this side of the bed base. And we'll get a shot of that here really quick as well. And there's also one, two 110 outlets there if you need the CPAP, your phone chargers, all that stuff can be plugged in. You, there's also uh, there's 110 outlets on either side of the bed. So both parties sleeping in here could have 110 outlets. And you can also recline and incline the base of this bed um, from either side of the bed. So coming back towards the driver's side here. So kind of a cool setup. I actually really like this. So two hanging storages, little shelf up top there, good use of space. And then down below, you have a bank of three nice big drawers. And you're gonna have two identical. Uh, so there's one on that side as well, we'll get to that. But in the middle, instead of a standard stacked washer and dryer, they actually did the side-by-side -side configuration um, so with that bed reclined, you have a ton of space right here to get in here, do your laundry, maybe fold it. I mean, just with that bed reclined, you get a ton of space. And then another LG HDTV, some workspace here, and storage underneath the TV as well. So right now you're going to see all the remotes for this motorhome, as well as some AV equipment. But it's a very hidden storage. So if you want to put your jewelry or something in there, that's a great place for it. And then another hanging storage shelf up above. And three more drawers down below. So, and then the last thing we'll look at, um, back in the very, very rear of this motorhome is your master bathroom. So they did not lack on the storage in here either. So nice big cabinet. And then a huge medicine cabinet. Another solid surface countertop with an undermount sink and then storage down below that as well. Over on this side, there is another gravity toilet and I'll get out of here and let him come in to show you. With an emergency exit up above that toilet. Also in the bathroom, there's a remote switch for your water pump so you don't have to walk all the way to the front and turn it on in the front of the motorhome you can do it back here as well and then a nice size shower with a skylight up top just to give you a little bit more natural light in there nice fog glass door so that you uh, have more privacy so, um, that pretty much wraps up walking around this 2018 Holiday Rambler Navigator 36U. Um, this one will not be on the website for a little while, um, but we do have it. It is for sale. So if you have any questions about it and you can't find it on the website, just give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-684-3433. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.